Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and one of the reasons FreeSky recently is not getting a very a lot of good opinions is that not only they do not care about the backwards compatibility of the hardware and software, they also kinda artificially try to force you to basically replace almost all your hardware that previously was super compatible with almost everything and now, right now, well, let's say not so much. Want the example? Here's the example. In 2018, I got myself a FreeSky flagship, almost the flagship radio uh, X10S Horus, hoping that if I buy a um, best radio, almost the best radio from FreeSky uh, back then, it will serve me great for many, many years. And what was my surprise when in uh, 2000 19, I figure out that, well, if I do want to upgrade to the new access protocol and, for example, be able to use over-the-air over the air updates of the receivers, not only I have to get new receivers, I have to get a new transmitters, which I honestly would be 100% uh, fine with. I would have really no problems with getting new transmitter because I did get a new transmitter and new receivers because I got me a new receiver. It also turned out that the flagship radio from a year before is no longer compatible with the access. So uh, I do not have access, I do not have uh, over the air, I do not have all the goodies that access brought into the mix. So um, how do you think, how interested was I in getting me the Horus X10 S Express version for another big bag of gold coins. Well, not so much. However, how they did it is they kind of paid the price of putting not fast enough inverters on their hardware. Um, you know, for years there is so-called the crossfire mode for all those receivers. You just put some cables into the PCB, wire a bridge between point A to the B, and you can use a crossfire in the full speed mode uh, without really having to get yourself a new radio. And it was kind of like matter of time before someone found out that exactly, almost exactly the same thing can be done for the R9 access transmitters and receiver and to enable the full FreeSky access on the R9 without having to get yourself a new radio that has access support built in. So how to do it? It's a hack. It's a hack, but I will just quickly point you to what you can do to have this thing running. I haven't checked this yet. I'm not sure if I ever will be, because I'm planning on something completely different. However, uh, some people I know say that they tried it and everything seems to be working just fine. You have all the access features and you have the possibility to update the FreeSky R9 over the air receivers via the access. So what you have to do? First, you have to get yourself a special version of the OpenTX. And by the way, this feature will be available in the OpenTX 2.0. 3.11 and what it does it unlocks the FreeSky access on the RadioMaster TX16S, Jumper T16, T18 and FreeSky X10 and X12. Of course, the support on the OpenTX is not the only thing that you will have to do. You also will have to make a small, well, let's say hardware modification of your radio. How to do it? It's called the external access and for the supported radios you have to just like with the crossfire just solder some components in case of the some radios it's extremely simple process and you just wire some wires from point A to point V, like for example on the TX16S. Uh, on the Jumper T16, basically exactly the same situation, you just wire some cables. On some other radios, like unfortunately mine uh, X10S, not Access, uh, you do have to solder in additional equipment in form of those Team Black Sheep Q7 fast inverters or basically any other inverter that allows you to have the full speed crossfire on your QX7. So you just need two of those, solder them somewhere, put them somewhere in the radio and 
basically that's all so with this if you are willing to test it to see if it's working and if it's worth it then both the documentation how to mod your radio in some cases it's simple in some cases not that simple and about the special versions of the open tx it's there you can just try it you can see if this is really what you've been waiting for. Personally, I'm just disappointed uh, at the free sky that they force us to do something like that. Because really, honestly, somebody expected that I would spend extra 400 bucks on the new radio that only differs by the faster inverters. No, no. Definitely not. So, uh, with this piece of the consumer advice, thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye-bye.